I agree, however, I'm going to defer to David for uh, an yeah, answer on that. Sorry, it's this was 24. You guys adopted this. You adopted it in the standards that the we're talking about the right. right. So for a license, it's six months. For a certified, it's 12. And then 18 months for a job. Right. Those are minimum requirements. You saw that. that. Those are changed, yeah. Right, but we don't have to change that. We can leave it at 24. Well, we have to leave it at 24. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, Dave, 160-K. Yeah. 160-K has the 24 months in it. So, I'm sorry, guys, for coming in late. 160 dash K is a statute. So if the statute itself prescribes a specific period of time, we do not have the power to create a reg that conflicts with that. Right. So we're stuck Wait, David, with say, whatever. Sorry, say that again, David. So um, as I understand, uh, New York Dave, executive. Can you turn that off? Can you turn? Can you turn it off a little bit or speak? Um, sorry. So 160-K of the New York Executive Law requires or sets that the time period for the uh, experience is 24 months. So because it's set in statute, um, we cannot change that through regulation. I mean, in the statute, it calls it 20, it, it says that um, shall, a license shall not be issued to any person who does not possess the equivalent of two years of appraisal experience um, as defined by the board, supported by adequate um, written reports. So we get to define, like, the category or the type of experience as to what counts and the points, et cetera, is what we currently do. But the two-year period is provided for in the statute, so we can't change that regulatorily. So that has to stay 24 months, two years. So with 12 months, 18 months, 30 months, we have really two years is standard, right, Carol? Right through, right through the licensing division. Right now, that is... According to their, according to their, their, their changes now, 
the general certified is at 30. The residential certified is at two years. Is at two years. And licensed is 12 yeah. months. Okay, so that's based on what the recommendations are. So we're only be falling out of category of one. One, one, okay, all right. Right. And we can take a look at that later after we see what else is. Yeah. Well, we no. well, they're proposing they're six months for yeah. for license, yeah. 12 yeah. for yeah. certified. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so, yeah. so all three of them yeah. are yeah. So And neither of right. them can we reduce it. Right. We can't yeah. yeah. keep the time right. frame okay. because it's in statute law. Right. That's right. what we're saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to. That's what we right. just want to make sure that we were all on the same understanding of that. But we Perfect. still go back to the. But we still can look at everything, everything else. That's what they yeah. All right. I see what Dave's saying. It's statutory. It's not. It's, it's not in. Right. Go ahead and start the meeting before we further oh, discuss. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I. Right. Um. Health order. The uh, New York State Appraisal Board Real Estate Appraisal Board meeting, April 16th, 2018. I want to go through introductions and want to bypass that since I'm telling this later. You guys buying uh, Buffalo, New York? Do you mind if we bypass the introductions since we're running a little late? No, yeah, no, yeah, no it's no problem. The, let's just go through okay, the Okay, let's go right into the Let's go right into our agenda. No, that, yeah, so then, no, I think we should do the introductions because this is being okay. streamed. Okay. So okay. people know that are All right, so starting in New York, uh, Ernest, would you like to start the introductions? Um, yes, Ernest Delaney, New York State Department of State. Dave Mossberg, Department of State. Uh, Anthony, anybody in Buffalo want to follow that, please? I'm Anthony Gerasol, board member. Jim Legret, board member. Lillian. Uh, Lillian Levy, board member. Carol DeSano, Vice Chair. Mary Jo Moore, Department of State. And Dave Murdoch, Department of State. Amy Hensby, Department of State. Jody Delalo, Department of State. Mark Mastrobuno, Department of State. Marcella Rhodes, Department of State. Dan Burnett, Department of State. Steve Farrell, Chair, Board Member. Rebecca Jones, Public Member. Okay. Um, so noted as our introductions that we do have a quorum today. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on to our agenda item number one. Uh, introduction, roll call, and quorum announcement, which we just did. Under action items, our newsletter update. Jody? Good morning. Um, so there's not a, much of an update on the newsletter. We've been focusing more on the cr criteria at this point. But um, so um, Becky sent the um, newsletter to Amy and I. It's being reviewed internally. Um, we'll, we're going to set up a conference call soon to discuss some of the content of it. Um, we'll get it reviewed by our legal department and um, at some point hopefully very soon we'll present it add it to the folders present it to the board get your input um, maybe reach out to you before the next board meeting for some input I'm guessing um, and we hope maybe we'll put a summer summer date on it since spring we think spring is here yeah, we're skipping spring, so we might go <laughs> directly to summer. So hopefully, oh, oh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna have like three days in July. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, does anybody have any questions? Looking any, forward to seeing. Any <laughs> questions, Buffalo, New York, for Jody? No, no, no. Okay. Thank you, Jody, for the update. Yep. Um, under agenda item 2B, ASC qualifications change discussion and vote on regulations. Steve Raffaro and David, I think Steve has already expressed his questions. David, any more of an update from that than we previously were just discussing? No, it, it's exactly what everyone was discussing. Purpose of the meeting is to determine whether or not there should be any changes to the regulations uh, with respect to um, the requirements to obtain license or certification. Any questions or comments of David? Oh, Gerald? Oh, yeah. Just a general discussion. Um, there's a few things here. We just recently attended the uh, Act Conference, which uh, in Tennessee, 
an appraisal conference, and there was, you know, of course, the regulations were a big topic of discussion. And uh, Jim Parks was in attendance, who is the executive director of the Appraisal Foundation. He's a wealth of knowledge, and we were glad to be there. So, subcommittee. subcommittee. Yes, appraisal subcommittee. Um, so, the, you've had the copy of what was passed by the AQB to be effective May 1st. And of course, we had the discussion of can I change the time frame um, because that's right in the law. One of the other things that we need to take into consideration, there's two things that we need to take into consideration is, you know, that we have a lot of rural communities in New York State that we do not want to be in a position where we do not have enough appraisers in those communities. And it's very important that we do not go through what Tennessee is going through right now uh, with at, you know, uh, asking for a waiver from appraisals because of a supposed lack of appraisers in the area. So I think we're, this is a really good step in the AQB to try to make obtaining an appraisal license uh, a little bit quicker or having different criteria that they can. One of the other things that really doesn't show on this criteria is that since the licensing began, we have gone to a national examination, which is much more rigid than when a lot of us took the original exam. And the AQB um, took that into consideration, a great deal of consideration when they went to try to reduce some of the education models in this or to do alternative education. And I think that's really real. If somebody can pass that much more rigid exam, they still need the experience credits, they need to be out there, and we're not dealing with any sort of alternative experience credits at this moment. They may That may come up later. Um, so I just wanted to speak about why some of that. And the other part two of this is to take into consideration, because this came up in discussions, is reciprocity with our neighboring state. And I know that that's very important to us because we're bordered by a number of states and, we, and some people hold multiple licenses. But some states have to step out first and say they're going to do this or they're going to, you know, accept parts of it or whatever they're going to do. We don't know yet because it's the beginning stages. This goes with effect to the reduced qualifications is is even possible to do for May first on a federal level. So there are a few states that have already approved them as written. But there's meetings going on over the next this month, the next month that we don't know what our bordering states are are going to do with reciprocity. Um, but I just want to make sure that we are taking that into consideration. You know, that um, that somebody may not be able to take their license from New York to someplace else, or somebody may not be able to come here from someplace else without meeting the more stringent qualifications, whichever state has them. In our case, right now, it would be the time frame. Yeah. You know, we're going to be more too, too stringent on the time frame, even if we adapt all of this, um, than some states might be. But I think that's workable within our with our, within our department. And I'm looking at all the people that really have to do this in the department. Um, so I didn't know if anybody else had anything to say on those issues. Are there any questions or comments from, from New York or from Buffalo? Hey, Jeff, I'm going to have access. It doesn't look like to... Oh, is the camera working? It's coming up, the webcam. Let me switch it. Okay, so it said to go to the device. Okay, we can see you. Oh, oh, who's, the, who's calling yeah, in? Yeah, that's... So we can't hear anything that they're saying. Can you no. hear us? No, no. That's the normal. Let's just go jabber. Can you, can you disconnect? Who is there? Can't hear you. Can you disconnect? I don't see Levard. Yeah, William and Levar are using together. Let's just go jabber. Let's just go jabber. Um, this is the end of their last meeting. This is Anthony and, and uh, Buffalo. I, I have a question. I bet you that's their last meeting. Okay, Anthony. Um, right now, the... Uh, Hold up. Right now, we, we would... Uh, New York State requires that licensed residential, certified residential, and certified general all have. They can. I can only see Karen. 
I'm sure they can probably see. Right. Hey, I'm going to hold up a sign asking them to disconnect if that's okay with Albany and Buffalo. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. fine. I know, right? You can't see. Can't see it. He's disconnected. Yeah. Yeah, so you should take us out. Thanks, David. So, so David, um, right now we require 24 months for, for each level for licensed residential, certified residential, and general uh, certified. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. And. Because in the in the law it says that um, certified appraisers have to have 24 months. So, but that but they're talking about every it's every level of uh, license. So, so 160K it says an original certification of a certified or an original license. So that's how you get the different levels, the difference between the certification and the license. Yeah. And so that's the specific provision that requires it to have 24 months or the same two years. Okay. I just want to be clear that everybody has to have two years in, a, in the law right now. At least. No. At, At least. Certified so residential has to have 30. And a right. licensed residential only needs 12. No. So our current criteria, licensed and certified um, residential need a minimum of 24 months. Certified general, a minimum of 30. It's going to AQB criteria is changing to 6, 12, and 18. But we have to have a minimum of 24. All right, Steve, we've required more. Right, I understand. I'm looking at this pre April 30, 2018. It says that's the, the ASC's. Oh, okay. oh that's this is their right. summary. So can we adopt parts of this and not the whole thing? Yes. Yes. Okay. We can't change the experience time. We have to have the minimum, but we can be above it. Right. So basically, we can change the college level requirements, the education, the amount of hours that they need. Just can't in the number of hours of experience, but just not the time right. frame. Right. The club, the local exam, we can charge all how they obtain their education. They hung up. They hung up. And we could change the general certified to 24 months. No, it's in statute. Yeah, no, we could change it to 24 because it's 24 minimum. Yeah. Okay. In our statute. So you can change so, the all. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. 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 They can all be 24. They can all be 24. They can all be 24. Right. Be 24. All right. So that's a good question. So now they'll all be 24. Seems reasonable to me. Are there any other questions, Jim, or anybody in New York? No, I'm fine. Anybody, any questions of anybody in Albany? All right, if there are any questions, somebody, would someone like to make a motion? Um, do we want to discuss also that we're going to lower the appraiser assistant to um, to the AQP recommendations? Yeah, we can do that. That's something else that we probably should vote on. That was one of the things that was discussed at so the meeting. So it is just the certified. You had, um, had concerns because the uh, appraiser assistant requirements were higher. They met the license category. And during the last meeting, we had discussed lowering them to what the AQB okay. suggested. So if we're going to make changes, we should make changes across the board one time. Right. Okay. So you you know that's something you should vote on. If that's so I think that that's, that's in here. That it's, part of, it's in the proposed. Right. So the only, uh, the only objection I think that we if I understand, we cannot change the time frame for certified residential or certified general appraiser. They have to be a minimum of 24 months for a licensed appraiser. Right. But, a cert, but a licensed assistant can be qualified. Right. Well, an assistant doesn't have yeah, to have experience. Right, right. right. They have to meet the criteria for whatever right. they're so all, all of them have to be 24 months then, yes. minimum. 
by New York State statute right. law. But we can adopt, we can adopt all the changes, recommend the changes for the right. substitution. The options for meeting the degree requirements. Right. 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 So the only thing we would not adopt is the time frame. The time frame. We would go 24 months on the three licenses across the board. The assistance license. Right now, while we're at it, um, in adopting that criteria change, we also thought it was mentioned at the last meeting that right. we currently require an assistant to complete 154 hours of education, which includes the entire R series right. for residential, certified residential. Um, the ASC minimum requirement is R5, R6, and use path. And, and of course, the supervisory appraisal. And then they have to take the rest of them before they right. apply. So you would be looking at the uh, possibility of reducing our 154 hour requirement to a 79 hour requirement. Which may bring in new assistants to right. see how they're doing before having to take so much. Right, so it's not just financial burden to be started by the course will. Okay, is, is, as so long as their recommendation is the same. Can I just ask a question? <laughs> just to clarify, because yes, I, with the foundation, they don't recognize the assistant. They only recognize the three categories. So they're not addressing the required education on this change here. No, no. That's we're going just, to be a separate subcommittee. Exactly. Okay. Well, we're prepared to vote, or if you're prepared to vote on it now, if no one objects to it, because we're already peeling open this to adopt this criteria, we thought that, you know, rather than go back in the future, why not go ahead and approve the minimum requirement now? So is that a regulatory change? Yes. yes. So if that's a regulatory change, can we change the, if that's a regulatory change, can we change the time frame then? It's whether the time frame is not experience no. for appraiser okay. assistance. Okay. okay. So this, this is, it's like an this internal regulatory. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I just don't want to say it. So, 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 you're, so you're talking about voting of changing the education and adopting the AQB. I think it, it should be two separate yeah. motions, motions and two separate votes. Okay. okay. I agree. But, but it's like it's, we're all here together. It's hard right. to get no, we can do it now. So it's a good time to yes. do it. So it's a good idea to do it. Forward right. it. Yeah. So you just do it separately because it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. So Carol has made a motion. To, Carol has made a motion to vote on. Carol has made a motion to, to vote on the AS changes that are in front of us. Do I have a second? Second. Who needs seconds? All in favor? Can I can I clarify what or provide some assistance potentially as to what the sure. motion? Should be. Um, so just so that I understand, right, because department staff, we're going to have to actually change the regulations. Um, I just want to make clear. So the, the motion to be made is to, to the extent not in conflict with New York right. executive law, adopt the minimum provisions set forth by the ASC and authorize the Department of State to take any appropriate measures to propose and adopt those standards. That should be the motion, David. I'll, ma I'll ma uh, make that motion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to repeat it, but it makes a difference. I mean, you got to get that wording correct. It's AQB. It's AQB. Okay, so yeah. uh, on David's description, on Lillian's first motion, on Carol's second motion, do I have a vote? All in favor? Uh, aye. 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 All opposed? So, so and the next one. Okay, and, and so what we'll do now is um, I can work with, uh, you know, Jody and Mark in looking at which specific regulatory <laughs> provisions need to be changed to effectuate what the board just voted on, which is to change the criteria to meet the minimum requirements not inconsistent with any New York statute. And then when the time is ready, we'll try to move forward to right. propose and adopt. It's the AQB, not the yeah. AESC. That's my I, I, yeah. acronyms run. Yeah, yeah. I run. I run. You know, all over with acronyms. That's so, 
If you look at film, the ice cream kind of yeah. thing. Like right, we'll so just call them the federal requirements. <laughs> yeah, I just call them the federal regulatory agencies. It seems to work for me. Yeah. It's, okay. a broad, it's a broad brush statement. Back so how do you want to address the appraisal system minimum education? Or okay, so you have a second motion to be clarified by either David or Mark. <laughs> so we're voting on the right we're voting on the right stuff. Uh, we have a second motion about adopting the changes to the assistant license requirements educationally from 154 hours to 79 hours. It's really that you're reducing the current. We're reducing the current, the current yeah. education requirement. Or appraiser assistance yeah. license and, in New York State. Right, and so I think just if anyone has the law book, it, I think the provision you all are discussing is NYCR, uh, 1103 point two paragraph A. <laughs> I'm sure that's it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm check it. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was if, paragraph if, B, but I'll take the word for it's paragraph. 1103 point two A. Yeah. Right. That's for the. Um, yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. So, from so, 54 to 79. Well, do we include supervisory in the regs? Yes. 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 79. Yeah. 79 hours. Yeah. Oh, right. And, and so, that would be, do we need to name the courses? Or R6, R5, 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 and the supervisory. Right. The four wow. courses. Four courses. We'll name it in there. We'll name it in there. So it should be 79 well, hours. Oh, I mean, if, if, if the well, I was just going to say I could just read out what the current courses are, and then that way the board, if is willing, could make the appropriate motion. Um, so the current courses are five thirty hours, are six thirty hours, use PEP or equivalent fifteen. Subject four is R7 for 15. Subject five is R8 for 15. Subject six is R9 for 30. Subject seven is R10 for 15. And subject eight is the super supervisory course for four hours. So the proposal would just keep R5, R6, the use PAP, and then the appraiser uh, supervisor course for 79. Uh, Buffalo, if you're in, it, that what David just described is also in the packets. And the current New York DOS appraisal assistant course requirements. It was emailed. Yeah, it's emailed to them. If you don't have it, I can stick it up to the camera and can look at it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, David. Yeah. So. Um, I, I put forward a motion to make the changes on the uh, appraiser or assistant course requirements from 154 hours to 79 hours. Based on the description that was uh, read to us by David and by uh, statute number, verse, or paragraph. Do I have a second to the motion? Oh, no. Second. Lillian seconds. Any other? Questions or conversation? Comments? Buffalo, New York? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Buffalo? Aye. Thank you. Aye. Aye. So carried the motion. Okay, so if there aren't any other action items under Roman numeral two on the agenda. I will open up to any new business brought before this board. Albany, New York, or I'm sorry, Buffalo, New York, any new business to be brought in front of this board? Hit one at anything? No. Nothing from New York. Anthony, Jim, any, any new business? Nothing from Buffalo. Okay. Uh, any public comment from New York or from Buffalo? Anybody there? Not in New York. Nobody here. Okay. Anybody? Nobody in Buffalo. Anybody want to comment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Donald, kick back, relax. No, um, I'm just, yeah, yeah, but that's a terrorist. Yeah. I think that, well, number one, I can just speak on two topics, so I think just what happened, we're going to be able to streamline the appraisers through a lot quicker. I teach a lot of the qualified courses, um, and, and when I talk to these guys all the time on the phone, telling them what the commitment is for the education, and I've actually got a class right now, I think we're in R9, and we take a minimum of six, no, three students, and that's pretty much what we have. And we still kind of do it for passion rather than money, which kind of upsets my husband who owns the school, but either way. Um, <laughs> So I'm kind of in shock saying, wow, we've got that 24 month barrier, but you guys solved it by reducing the education. So I think that's great. Um, what I had prepared to talk about was, um, <laughs> that was my like, little shock, but um, Arrow, the Association of Appraiser Regulatory Officials, um, which is a really good club or click. They actually sent a, 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 a survey to the states and it has to do with the practical application of real estate appraisal experience model. So when the AQB did these changes, there was a total of four or five, and they, they approved four. The fifth one hanging out there is what we call, they call it PIREA, wonderful acronym for that. But it is the uh, practical application of real estate appraisal experience model. And um, when I, I just actually got it over the weekend, it's great. Steinle, who is the president of Arrow, mm -hmm. who is looking for information from each individual state on their opinion of the Pyorea type courses. And the questions they have on the survey, and I did email it to Whitney, but I just got it on Saturday. I don't know if I should email it to somebody else. But I think these questions, just reading these questions, are like board member questions um, rather than Department of State kind of questions because it's asking, you know, in your opinion, uh, that gaining experience using the current supervisory training model is a barrier to achieving your presidential uh, credential. So that's something that I think the board members and I really like to see New York State participate in this survey. So I don't know how to do that. That's kind of why I'm bringing it here to say, there's a couple great questions on here. You sent it to Whitney? I did. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. I just got it Saturday. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. Sure. I know Arello is sending it to New York, but I'm not sure where it's going to. Right. So who got it? Or, or who got, who it? got it? Because the online survey is closed down because Arrow's having their conference in Seattle, Washington, in a couple of weeks, and they kind of they just want to know what your input is as a state, whether or not they should put the effort into this Pyrea courses. And basically what the Pyorea courses are, and I know I spoke on it a couple of meetings before when we came back from the AQ meeting, is I served on the subcommittee for this. Basically what they're trying to come up with is right now all the experience credits are required to be in the field underneath the supervisory appraiser. This is a pathway where you don't have to have a supervisory appraiser. You can get all your experience credits in the classroom, but in the classroom you're actually looking at properties, such as the way you guys do home inspector training for uh, the 40-hour field-based training, where the home inspectors are actually taking the home inspectors out into the field and performing reports. That's what they're looking at here is for that experience criteria, the instructor is taking them out to the properties or virtual reality type situations. Um, so it's a huge thing for bypassing the supervisory appraiser, because that's one of the complaints the appraisers are having. I can't find anybody to work underneath, and this is one vehicle. So they just really want to have your input in regards to you know what your opinion is on this. So okay, we'll uh, see what Whitney says and see okay. where it should go. You know. So I send it to the right place. Yes, you did. So somebody okay. will just ch chat with her about it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Great. All right. Perfect. Even Thank if, you. Even if it goes to the board members, in the crafts language or science. It's still got to go through. If it's going to be a representation of the state, right? It's right. got to go through legal. It's got to go well, through, you know, it's got to go through. It's, it's just a yes or no. They're just yes or no questions here. Sorry. It needs to. Well, that's it's, right. Right. It requires it's just yes or no. Uh, for example, uh, would you prefer that a Pyorea course was developed by an AQB as an <laughs> off-the-shelf framework that an educational provider would use? Or do you want the local market area or jurisdiction to deliver the course? 
So that, yes that affects no. what we do. So I think it has to come from the state. It's kind of yes. what you are. Yes or no. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But they're yes or no questions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like we're creating a. So it, could be, which it could be based on our based on our responses. It requires explanation, which means we come back to DOS and we'll legal anyway. So we're better off whatever we craft, even if it's just no, we might want to put an explanation, a thought in, and then from there, you know, have it gone through. Well, the state state we're representing the state, state. state. Yeah. Yeah. For that reason. Yeah. They need it in like a week though. Yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> Talking. <Yeah. about. laughs> Well, the other thing is a good point of discussion because we are talking about we have an education subcommittee. We could we brought and discuss an education subcommittee? We can look at it. I don't I mean, know if the subcommittee is forming anymore because it just voted. Well, you've resurrected us. Well, I mean, we were talking about, uh, let me, well, it is kind of a topic. We were talking about uh, John Mulford, Jim Mulford, which is his John, Manfred. John Manfred. Manfred. Manfred, thank you. Mm -hmm. right today. Coming in and sitting with us and discussing some of the education components. This also brings a point is we lower our experience credits time-wise that we might want to bring some of this coursework in because you're getting more firsthand, you know, on you know on the ground knowledge during our book. So it might be a good point to discuss this. Uh, we got a lot of this yep. no, you're right. All right. Um, Thank you. All right. If there is no more public comment from Buffalo or from New York, um, I would call for an adjournment.